Hey, welcome to Quiplash. We've been expecting you. <laughs> hey, great job with those names. Hi, hilarious. We are starting things off right. This is round one. You'll get two prompts on your device. Just answer them however you want. Your responses, or quips, will be pitted against someone else's, and everyone will vote on their favorite. You'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer. Have at it. Take a look. First one. So, how do you like it? Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. Next one, a good name for a pet cemetery. Vote on your devices. Next up, little known fact, the government allows peanut butter to contain up to 10% blank. And next, the strangest new military weapon, blank-seeking missiles.
Okay, I'm Schmitty, and you are about to play Quiplash. Lucky you. And remember, win at any cost. Any cost. Ready? This is round one. You get points based on the percentage of people who like your answer, and a bonus if you get more votes than your opponent. Go! Start this show. Our first prompt is the most G rated term for an erection. Coming up next, come up with a new dessert that contains the name of a U.S. state. Time to vote. Okay, next one. A great way to start a conversation with a weird loner on the subway. It's voting time. Next in line, from the creators of Whack-A-Mole comes the new game, Blank-A-Blank. <laughs> and next is, surprising first words for your baby to speak. Vote on your devices. Next one, something you probably shouldn't bring on a trip across the Sahara Desert. Time to vote.
Okay, next one. What your pancreas tests revealed. Vote on your devices. Round one is in the books. Let's see the scores. <laughs> Time for round two, where everything is worth two times as much as that silly round one. Okay, here we go. First up, where's Jimmy Hoffa? Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. should never follow beef. It's voting time. Something pirates probably aren't very good at. Time to vote. Next in line. A prank the Supreme Court justices probably play on each other. Vote on your devices. Most annoying co-worker would constantly blank. It's voting time. for the watery substances that come out of a ketchup bottle when you first squeeze it. Time to vote.
bad substitute for a toothbrush? It's voting time. is now complete. Let's see who completed it well. <laughs> Welcome to the last lash, the final round. Stakes are tripled. There's just one prompt and you're all getting it. The last lash prompt is... The one thing that isn't better dipped in chocolate. Everybody's in. Give out your votes now. That's it. Let's take a look at the final scores.
Welcome to the game. I'm Josh Schmitzenstein, but you can call me Josh Schmitty Schmitzenstein, or just Josh, or just Schmitty, but not just Schmitzenstein. Okay, uh, first of all, guys, I want to apologize for the last time. I was in a bad place, and I... Oh, long room. <laughs> well, anywho... This is round one. Two prompts will appear on your device, which you can answer in any clever or not clever way you want. Everyone will choose between your answer and someone else's and decide who wins. You'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer. Have at it. Let's start this show. First one, who let the dogs out? Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. Next up, a clever thing for James Bond to say as he throws someone out of an airplane. It's voting time. Next one, what Chewbacca has really been yelling all these years. Vote on your devices. name for a funeral home. Time to vote. Next in line, something it's not a good idea to put in the overhead bin on an airplane. Vote on your devices. you'd be most surprised to have a dentist find in your mouth. It's voting time.
Coming up next, the worst question to ask during a White House tour. Time to vote. That's all for round one. Here's the scoreboard. Hey. Time for round two, where everything is worth two times as much as that silly round one. Okay, it's time for some quip lashing. The first prompt is the only job you would do for free. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. Okay, next one. The last thing you'd want to find in your air ducts. Vote on your devices. Coming up next, a really weird protest sign would be end blank now. It's voting time. is a sign you probably shouldn't put up in your yard. Time to vote. Next in line, why ducks really fly south in the winter? Vote on your devices.
next one. What John Goodman's belches smell like. It's voting time. Next up, George W. Bush and Dick Cheney's rap duo name. Time to vote. Round two is now complete. Let's see who completed it well. And now, round three, the last lash. Point values are tripled, and you'll all be answering the same prompt this time. The last lash prompt is... If you don't have extra money, an odd thing to use as a tip for your waiter. All right, we're ready. Okay, in this round, you have three votes to give to players. You can give them all to one player or spread them out. It's over. Let's take a look at the final scores.
Hi, I'm Cookie, your host, and if you're satisfied with my service today, please consider filling out a customer satisfaction card. Seven of you. You know, in some cultures, seven is a lucky number, which is too bad, because with me here, that makes eight of us. Oh, well. Oh, and uh, anyone else can get in and join the audience. Yeah, you can play along for your own personal score, and you can like your favorite lies. Let's do this. <laughs> This is round one. You'll get 500 points for everyone you fool. And you'll get 1,000 for finding the truth. And everyone gets a defibrillator, which removes all but two answers on any question. Save it for a tough one. Select the category. Okay, here's your first question. Twice a week, a club consisting of over 400 University of Michigan students meets at the school library to blank. Now use your device to type a lie that might fool the other players into believing it. If you get stuck for half the points, you can use the help button and get a suggestion. Do it now. Okay, now find the truth and enter it on your device. Let's see what everybody selected. Well, don't you feel foolish. And the rest of the board goes unselected. Category. It's time for a road trip. Let's take a road trip. Say hello to Elsie Eiler when passing through Minowee, Nebraska, because she's not only the mayor, but also blank. Type in your lies now. Okay, take a look and find the truth. Okay, let's take a look. Well, everyone got it right. Nice. But her last election was pretty dubious as she won three to nothing. 
And nobody picked any of these other lines. Time to pick a category. Well, we ain't waiting forever. Okay, here's the question. In Minnesota, some refer to the game Duck Duck Goose as Duck Duck Blank. Enter your lies now. Okay, which one's the truth? Okay, what did everyone pick? And it was also... Great minds think alike. It's the second most popular game in Minnesota behind rock, paper, left-handed safety scissors. And that's it. This is round two, which means all point values are doubled. And remember to use your defibrillator if you need a little jolt of help. Use it in round two or lose it. All right, pick a category. Okay, here's the question. In 2015, researchers from the University of Pittsburgh concluded that, oddly enough, people of ancient Greece were afraid of blank. Write your lies now. Where's the truth? Who picked what?
And the rest of these lies didn't fool a soul. Select a category. Okay, here's the question. You're not crazy. The psychiatric hospital run by the Hôpital de Saint-Maurice in Paris really is located blank. Input your lies now. Okay, find the truth. Let's see what everybody picked. Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. As part of an odd courting ritual in Austria during the 19th century, single women would store blank in their armpits during a dance and then afterwards offer them to guys who caught their fancy. Enter your lies now. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Okay, what did everyone pick? That was a great lie. Don't ask where they keep their slices of cheese. And nobody picked the other lies up there. Whoa, 
welcome to the final fibbage. This is your final question, and it's worth triple. It's anybody's game. Okay, here is your final fibbage question. The strange nickname of New Zealand's national basketball team. Write your lies now. Okay, where's the truth? Who picked what? something you might be interested in <laughs> and that means some of these didn't get picked <laughs> 